And so I was diagnosed so that I had it in my lymph, my lungs, and my bones. Prostate cancer, the prognosis is really based on the speed at which the tumor is growing. His prostate cancer was growing rapidly, meaning that it was doubling very quickly. When a tumor grows rapidly, obviously, uh, you're talking about a fairly limited amount of time, and it could very well have been six months to a year he could have, have passed away from this disease. And I thought, wow. And of course, I didn't realize the moment you have it presenting itself here at the bottom of the neck that you actually have a metastasized cancer. That's a pretty good indication of what's going on. He had already failed a number of things, including hormone therapies that stopped working, chemotherapy. He had had um, another treatment that was, you know, we basically tried all the options and I was kind of running out of things to do. They were able to get me on this particular clinical trial. So our ability to diagnose prostate cancer wherever it is and treat it wherever it is, is much, much better. And that translates into having better quality of life and live, helping patients live longer. He was able to enroll in this trial. He, as you can tell by talking to him, he had a tremendous response. From what I understand, there were an, about four other people who submitted to the clinical trial. I believe my numbers came out pretty close to the top. His treatment was remarkable in that we monitor something called the PSA, which is a protein that is produced by prostate cells, including prostate cancer. And his PSA just plummeted once he started treatment. What was really surprising is how fast his uh, symptoms started getting better. Basically over the first two months, this lymphedema that he had just melted away. His symptoms went away, his pain went away, his swelling went away. Uh, he was able to ambulate well again. He basically returned back to somebody you would look at and say, it doesn't look like this man is sick. And he is doing well. He is, as last I talked to him, his PSA was still extremely low. They won't say the word remission as much as you have just cornered this to the point that it's practically non-existent.